Have you been trying to figure out how to build a hotel website in Wix? Well, I'm your host, Michael Strauch, here on Computer MD of Gilbert, and I'm here to answer that question for you. Before we hop in today to today's video, come over to Weekly Wix Wednesday. If you guys are new to the channel, this is our new email list for the Weekly Wix tips. If you're previous to the channel, you know that the email list used to be called Wix our Weekly Wix tips. But now they are on Wednesdays, and I just thought it had a good ring to the name Weekly Witch Wednesday. So head over to weeklywitchwednesday.com and come sign up for this email list as it will deliver you extreme valuable and new exclusive tips, tutorials, and tricks on how to maximize your Wix usage. Now, let's hop into today's video, which is just building a simple hotel website and integrating the Wix Hotels, which is a room booking app that will allow people to actually book hotel rooms on your website. And that's basically what I'm gonna show you how to add because that's the backbone of building a hotel website. So to do so, what we're gonna do is we're gonna come over here to add apps. As you guys can see, I'm just on a basic Wix template called the Annex, and, uh, and it's just one of their templates that are optional that you can go choose. And then we're gonna go to the Wix app market right here, and we are going to simply type in Wix hotels and you'll see a pop-up right there you'll then simply click add to site and then it will add it as a page to your website it's a separate page that it adds and then you'll see our rooms and it pops up right here it's got a good design and you'll see double click to set up your online booking system so we'll double click it and then the settings will pop up you can see start taking reservations directly on your website start now bam and then what's going to happen is it's going to pop up into our little hotel room manager. And it's kind of cool how this works because you can see right here you have an option to choose the type of property. So is it an apartment, a B&B, a hotel, a vacation rental, guest house, or it's an other. Well, I'm a fan of Airbnb. Now, I know this is an Airbnb, but we're going to click B&B. And then you'll click set up your property. And just like that, it'll get it going and set everything up in three easy steps. You can see they make it really simple on you. So you add your rooms, you edit your settings, and you set up your payments. I'm going to exit out and just show you guys a little bit. So when you come in here to rooms, this is where all of your rooms that you've added will be listed. Settings, on the other hand, this is where you actually put in all of your property info. So your property name, the email address, phone number, and the property type. And then obviously the address because people need to know and where know how to find your property and where it is and then right here your regional settings this is where you can set up um, you know the units of your square footage your time zone and then what your weekend nights are so what that means is select the rights or the the night the weekend rate so whenever your weekend starts you can actually set it to where your weekend rate starts and then it'll start on that day on the weekend so maybe you want it Thursday Friday and Saturday and Sunday those will be your weekend rates and it'll be just that easy and then you could choose right here what the minimum length of stay could be so max and minimum so maybe it can be check in so this is where you put your check in time check out time and then maybe they have to stay for a minimum of two nights in a max of 365 nights which means they could stay there for a year so they could book a hotel room for a year so you have to choose what your minimum and maximum will be there <coughs> excuse me and then make sure you always click save obviously I have some missing info I'm not gonna go through and show you that you just have to come in here fill it out for your property payments important here you have a couple different options you can go with PayPal stripe Mercado or offline payments now what this means is that you are going to need the e-commerce plan for your website this is important to note so on Wix the e-commerce plan allows you to accept payments on your website so you will need that and then you need to decide what payment processor you want so do you want things going through PayPal which by the way means that they do accept uh, major debit and credit cards PayPal isn't just using a PayPal account PayPal accepts major debit and credit cards as well I know I get that question a lot stripe is the same exact way uh, Mercado I've never used this seems to be one in uh, Argentina Brazil Chile Colombia Mexico and Venezuela and then offline payments means 
that you can have it to where guests actually pay at your hotel instead of paying online. I will tell you for convenience sake and when booking uh, hotel rooms that I personally like to book online. So I would recommend you have that payment section available. And then if you scroll down, you could choose your tax percentage um, and whether you're taking a specific deposit for your payments um, or whether you're taking the whole total right then and there online. However, you want to set that up, your hotel's policy, your B&B's policy, any of that, and then obviously your currency. So now the rooms, let me just show you this a little bit. Create new, and then you would name the room. You would choose how many units, and you can see that means how many uh, types of this room do you have. And then you could choose how the max amount of guests, max amount of kids, the room size, so the square footage, the bed type, um, you know the size of the bed and how many beds there are in the room you could choose all the amenities you could add custom amenities you could add pictures a description of the room and then down here you could add the uh, the rate for the room the week weekday price and the weekend price and then you have more pricing options you could add a monthly price a weekly price or you can add an each uh, price per guest so it is a pretty versatile program for adding hotel rooms and allowing people to book their hotel rooms I mean it's got a good system a good flow you can add all of your pictures you could add you know what your amenities are any description needed all of that so this is really perfect if you have any type of property Airbnb hotel apartment any of that this is really perfect to go ahead and start being able to book out your rooms online it makes it much easier on you and it makes it much easier on your customer and it improves your marketing and hopefully will improve your conversion rate too from people finding you or finding out about you and then actually booking a room because the more information you have the more trust and uh, secureness you build with that possible customer and then they're more likely to go ahead and book a room with your hotel or your property if you've developed and presented enough information to where they feel they trust you and also I will tell you something pictures I know sometimes this is just an oversight they allow you 10 pictures here you need to add 10 really good pictures you really want to show the room show exactly what the highlights are show the views show everything pictures sell especially when it comes to hotel rooms or properties so just a little tip there for me on web design uh, pictures sell over all of web design not even just hotel rooms but all web designs pictures and videos those are content that sell as well as strong copy but those in particular are visual and people reciprocate uh, visual um, you know very well so I, I would really recommend you use that Hopefully this video helped you guys out. If it did, drop me a like down below. Comment if you have any questions at all. I wanted to show you a new little side of Wix. Um, I haven't really shown how to build a hotel website. I know I didn't really build out the website, but I showed you the main component, component of building out a hotel website. So let me know if you have more questions about that or building a hotel website. Also remember that my team is available for hire if you are interested in having us build out your website for you. We are here. Go to wixmywebsite.com if you'd like to learn more about that or email me. Otherwise, head over to weeklywixwednesday.com, link in the description below, and go ahead and hop on that email list. I guarantee you, you will receive valuable information and it will help you out. So I look forward to seeing you all on there, and I hope you have an excellent rest of your days.